So I'm compelled now to ask this question out of order, which is my custom. Access and privileges. Is this, are, are these archives just for professional academicians, researchers, or can any audience member see the notebook of uh, William Shockley or Bob Noyce or whomever, or Gordon Moore? So the, uh, the papers that we're talking about, uh, Rare Books too, are in a department we call the Department of Special Collections uh, at Stanford. And Special Collections is one of two departments at Stanford that anybody in the world can use. In fact, you can use it as your way of getting to the library. The other one, by the way, is government documents. Uh, special Collections, anyone can use. And uh, when you come to the portal, They'll, you, you register, you, know, you tell them who you are so you can come in and out and all of that. And now, you can you see it online collection. or do you have to go into the library at Stanford University? Well, uh, there are limited amounts of, uh, limited numbers of things that are available online, but 99.9% .9 of the stuff you have to come into the library to use. Understood. You know, okay. part of, by the way, I should say, part of that is availability of resources to do things like scanning and so forth. Part of that is, my position, uh, from beginning from wild enthusiasm for how we're going to put everything online to uh, letting reality sink in, is remember, these are papers of individuals. Um, there aren't a lot of people around who would want to put, have every scrap of paper in their personal archive put up online oh, for sure. a universal search sure. engine to, to go through and so on. What so, I'm amazed is you're able to collect these things. I would have thought as per the quote from Leslie's book, then most of them are trashed. They're uh, put in a dumpster or they're shredded or whatever. Yeah. A lot of them are and it's yeah. become so more that, and more.